Hi everybody, this is Professor West for GMC. In this video, we're still working with PowerPoint and we're going to start adding animations. So, um, let's just jump right in. I have a, very, a blank presentation here and I just put the word animations for now. So you're welcome to follow along. I'm going to start by adding a new slide. Actually, I'm going to add a couple of new slides. So come up to the bottom half of the new slide and we're going to choose the one that says to content. So we're going to make two different content things. And let's go ahead and duplicate that slide. So right click on it and choose duplicate. And if there was stuff on it, it would put the stuff on the second one too when you duplicate it. But since it was blank, it won't. So let's add a few things here. First, let's add some words. So click in the title and let's put racetrack and let's go ahead and center it so you can click the center button up here at the top this is going to be a racetrack and I did a quick search and found a couple images of cars and a couple images of street you're welcome to do that or I will try to include them in the course so I'm just going to click on pictures and I'm going to add one of them now I did this one called road and I'm going to do another one and I'm going to call it race car 201 so here's what I'm going to do first I'm going to change my road make it bigger just like we've talked about before and then I'm going to move my car over here where it's not quite on the road yet now we haven't actually done anything with animations yet so let me jump right in and do that we're gonna to go to the animations tab up here at the top and right off the bat there's the animation section here these talk about different aspects oops of animations if you click the drop down here that's the bottom one here on the right you see all the different options that are available the green ones are for entrance entrance means how this car gets on the screen so if I choose fly in for example that's what happens you can click preview over here and watch it, the animation go so that's what it'll do as soon as this slide comes on this car will float up from the bottom let me go back over here and click on the drop down again there's more, there's emphasis, which is what happens while it's up. There's exit, which is how it leaves. If I do fly out, it would fly out just like this one was a fly in. And then there's motion paths, where you can actually set the path for how it's going to motion, how it's going to move. Now, I've already picked fly in. So if I choose one of these motion paths, it's going to replace that as the option instead of doing both it won't do both that way but you can come over now that you've got one animation you can come over to this one I'm still in the animations tab this one says add animation that tells it we're gonna have another one as soon as that one's finished so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna get this one that says lines and it's showing you what's gonna happen it's gonna move from the green dot to the red dot over that amount of time so if I grab this little red dot and I move it over here somewhere well now that's what my car is going to do so he flies in and zooms across notice the animation pane over here has both things listed if it didn't if that wasn't there you could click on it here this is the animation pane button that will make this appear. Sometimes it doesn't appear on its own. Now, the important thing is you can do this to any object on your screen, not just the race car. I could move the track. I could move these letters. I'm going to do that. Let's click on these letters. And let's tell them to come in somehow. Maybe split. Let's see what that does. Well, that kind of split it up and then had it do some stuff. Let's see what other options we've got. We've got wipe. Eh. 
We've got wheel, shape, zoom, bounce, swivel. I might leave it on bounce for now. And now that I have all these in here, I realized that I did my car first, but I wanted the word to bounce in first. So what I can do is I can come over here in my animation pane and I can click on it and drag it to a different spot. Now when I preview it, that's going to bounce in first and then my car is going to come up and zoom across the screen. But that's not all. If you come over here onto this pane and you right click, a window appears with even more options. This one says start on click. As soon as it was clicked, this one starts. Um, you could do some of these other options or you can come down to effect options and that gives you the chance to do even more stuff. I don't want to add a sound. Um, I don't want to do any of those. Animate the text all at once or by word. If you have sentences up, you can have the words fly in or you can do it by letter. I'm going to change that to by letter just to see how it looks. So when I click OK, it takes effect. And that's how it's going to look. I kind of like that. Kind of bouncing in each one at a time. But let's say you want to do a little more. And then as soon as it finished, the car came up and drove across the screen. So I can go back to the effects. And I can go to timing. And see right here where it says percent delay between letters. Maybe I can make that longer if I want. Let's go to 25%. Let's see how that looks. Now each letter kind of comes in separate. I can go back into the effect. I wish there was an easier way so you don't have to keep going through all this. You can go to timing and you can set a delay. You can set the duration of the whole thing. How long it takes to finish. Um, you can go to text animation. There's some other options here. Things for you to look at. I'm not really going to get into those. So let me show you just a couple more things real quick. Let's go down to slide number three. Now I'm going to put something else on here. Let's say I go to pictures and I put a road on there again. And I'm going to make it bigger. And then for the other one, I'm going to pick the other car that I have here. And I'm going to... I'm going to do just a little bit of cheating here. So come back to this other slide and click on this car and once it's highlighted right click on it and let's do a copy then come to the other one click on it and let's do paste hmm. hold on I might have done that wrong Okay, I'm going to show you how to do something a little different. So let's go to our second slide, slide number two, and let's click on the car. And let's make sure we're in animations. And let's choose the Animation Painter. Animation Painter is a funny way to say it's the Animation Copier. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to copy what this animation does. And then I'm going to come to this other screen, and I clicked on it. As soon as you click on it, it puts all the commands to this one now. So now this one will do the same thing that the other one did, which means it rises up and drives across. And you can do that with any of these objects, anything you want. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to this. Um, you can add more stuff. You don't just have to be stuck with two. You can add a lot more things for this car to do. You can drive over. It can turn around and come back. and Whatever you'd like. You can have other words. You can have other pictures. You can have boulders falling across in front of it. Whatever you think. It's all up to you. And that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next section. Oh, actually, I take that back. Hold on. Let's go to 
this screen, let me show you something else. Um, in the animation, I can also come up here to trigger and I can choose if I want it on click of, if I want it to like right here it says on click of title one or placeholder five or seven. This one's five, this one's seven, and this is title one. So I could have it wait until I click on this word for the animation to run. And also you can come in and you can set delays so that it doesn't just come up and go straight across. You have to play around with this stuff, but there's a lot you can do. You don't have to just do exactly what I did. So anyway, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye, everybody.